Last night as I lay dreaming of pleasant days gone by, my mind being bent on rambling, and to Erin's Isle I did fly. I stepped on board of a vision, and I sailed out with a will, till I gladly came to anchor at the cross of Spansel Hill. Enchanted by the novelty, delighted with the scenes, where in my early childhood I oftentimes have been, I thought I heard a murmur, and I think I hear it still. Tis that little stream of water at the cross of Spansel Hill. And to amuse my fancy, I lay upon the ground, where all my school companions in crowds assembled round. Some have grown to manhood, while more their graves did fill. Oh, I thought we were all young again at the cross of Spansel Hill. It been on a Sabbath morning, I thought I heard a bell. O'er hills and valleys sounded in notes that seemed to tell that far the dawn was coming, his duty to fulfil at the parish church of Cluny, one mile from Spansal Hill. And when our duty did commence, we all knelt down in prayer, in hopes for to be ready to climb the golden stair. And when back home returning, we danced with right good will to Martin Moylan's music at the cross of Spansel Hill. It being the twenty third of June, the day before the fair, sure Erin's sons and daughters, they all assemble there. The young, the old, the stout and the bold, they came to sport and kill. What a curious combination at the fair of Spansel Hill. I went into my old home, as every stone can tell. The old boreen was just the same, and the apple tree over the well. I missed my sister Ellen and my brothers Pat and Bill. Sure, I only met strange faces at my home in Spansel Hill. I called to see my neighbors to hear what they might say. The old were getting feeble, and the young ones turning grey. I met with Taylor Quigley, he's as brave as ever still. 
Sure, he always made my breeches when I lived in Spansel Hill. I paid a flying visit to my first and only love. She's as pure as an lily and as gentle as a dove. She threw her arms around me, saying, Mike, I love you still. She is Mac, the ranger's daughter, the pride of Spansel Hill. I thought I stooped to kiss her as I did in days of yore. Says she, Mike, you're only joking, as you often were before. The cocky crew on the roost again, he crew both loud and shrill, and I awoke in California, far, far from Spansel Hill. But when my vision faded, the tears came in my eyes. In hopes to see that dear old spot some day before I die, may the joyous King of Angels his choicest blessings spill on that glorious spot of nature. The Cross of Spansel Hill